Group rides are an enjoyable way to share your passion with others. But group rides can get out of control if riders take risks that they wouldn't normally attempt. So it's important to prepare and plan for a group ride. Even if it's a verbal plan, make sure everyone knows where the group is going, have planned rest stops, and agree places to stop and regroup. Cruise our way out to the south coast with a, um, a stop at the BP station. Agree on ride orders and take into consideration the experience and capability of the riders and their bikes. I'll take the tail end Charlie's. The staggered formation is preferred on straight roads, but move into single file with good following distances to take the correct line when cornering. Enjoy your ride, but don't feel the need to keep up with the rider in front. When overtaking, remember the 4P principle. That's position, pull out, pass, pull in. And ensure it's always safe to pass. Here, the first rider goes to overtake. The second rider thinks they can go too, but it's not always safe to do so. Instead of performing a potentially dangerous move, check there's enough space so you can safely overtake. Select the right gear, check your mirrors, indicate and then do a head check before moving out. But be prepared to move back in again if need be. This is one of the reasons it's a good idea to put the most capable riders at the back so more inexperienced riders don't feel any pressure to keep up. The advantage of the staggered formation is each rider can form their own view of the road ahead. It also helps you take up less space collectively on motorways. Plan regular stops throughout your ride. They are an opportunity to rest and refresh, taking food and water and a chance to refuel too. Always be aware of the bike in front of you as well as the bike behind. This is the key to the whole concept of group riding. All you need to do is keep the rider behind you in the mirrors and you'll automatically stay together as a group. If you haven't seen the bike behind you for a while, simply slow down and let them catch up. When they're visible, away you go again. With this approach, the following rider is never pressured to speed up in an effort to catch up with the rider in front. If you're approaching an intersection and find yourself way ahead, don't make a turn unless you're sure the group behind has seen you. If necessary, indicate, pull over and stop somewhere safe. Wait for the others to catch up. When the pack arrives, pull safely back onto the road and continue your ride. Enjoy the camaraderie of a group ride and the opportunity to share your riding experience with others. Right place, right line. <laughs>